that was a nice feeling to yeah. know that, that 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 was yeah that I still had the I still had the fire inside me. Yeah. <laughs> This is the Radio X Evening Show, me, George Godfrey, and tonight we've got a very special guest, Hater Kelly from Block Party. Hello. It is How great. are you doing? I'm really good, man. It's great to have you on the show and, fa- and great to finally have this conversation with you because, I mean, yes. without wanting to be too much of a fanboy, uh, I feel like this has been a long time coming for me. Oh, wow. Oh, well, no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> I, hope, I hope I'm here and it's quite late at night. Uh, and it's been quite a long day. But yeah, I, will, yeah, I, hope, I hope it's a good one. It's, it's the first interview that I've done, really. Uh, so yeah, I hope I'm going to make any sense. Well, listen, Kelly, there's some very exciting news, and it's the reason we've got you on the show tonight. It is mm. new block party music. You've got a new album, Alpha Games, out next April, which we will mm. talk about in a bit. But I want yeah. to talk about this first taste of it. So, Traps sure. is the song. Talk me through it. What was the initial spark with this one? Um, the initial spark. Yeah, I think it was an idea that. Um, we were kind of jamming in sound check in sound checks when we were touring, doing those kind of silent alarm shows mm. in 2018 and 2019. And, you know, we've always been a band that um, gets quite restless on the road. So we, 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 we've been very lucky that, that we've always been quite motivated when it comes to writing on the road. So yeah, this was just a, a, an idea that came out of a jam during a sound check. And we, we sat with it and, it just kind of evolved, you know, it just kind of evolved over the months that we were playing it. And, you know, I have lots of memories of being like all over the world in Australia, um, America, Europe, kind of fine tuning that song and, and like a handful of others. Um, but yeah, that was kind of how it, that, that was kind of how it came into existence. It was just like a, like a baseline that um, Justin had. And yeah, we kind of, it just became something else. We didn't really have very many rules, but the one rule that we did have was that we needed to be in a room together when we were writing the songs. It couldn't just be, you know, we didn't want to rely on the studio. I think with hymns, you know, because we were very much in a state of flux with hymns, you know, given that our, you know, that we'd parted ways with our previous two members, Mm. it kind of, it seemed to make sense, Russell and I going into the studio space and, and kind of making this, making that record. But, for, for, for these next songs, we knew that we needed to have the energy of a band, yeah, like in, in a room together, because we really felt that. We really felt that when we were um, playing, you know, doing those silent alarm shows. I think we all um, felt an energy that we hadn't really felt for a while. Um, so it was imperative that we tried to capture that, really. I think that's exactly what you have done, because if there's one thing I can say about this track, it's not lacking in energy. Uh, yeah, thank you. Well, thank you very much. Um, yeah, for, for, thank you very much. I think that's I think uh, I think that's Louise is doing. She she's got she's got so much energy, and um, I think you can really hear it in her performance. You know, and and all of our performances, but, but certainly hers. Um, yeah, she, she's kind of breathed a new life into the band. Really, mm. the last time you guys were out on the road, because you have announced some massive shows to go with this album, uh, was sure. with the Silent Alarm tour. And I said at the start mm. of the interview, for me, this has felt like a long time coming from like silent alarm takes me back to when i was like 13 years old and and it made me realize that this is an album where okay you can do so much more with a guitar than i ever realized before that like it was all nirvana power chords oh wait this is happening so to see those songs you know played in full in reverse as well which i thought was a really nice idea uh, i just want to say you. firstly thank you for that because it was amazing thank you i mean well thank you thank you for coming uh, you know we you know, we had we had a lot of fun, and it was so lovely. I mean, I mean, I was slightly hesitant about it, I guess, prior, just because I'm not someone really that likes to look backwards. Mm. Um, but yeah, you know, it's, it it seemed to make sense. Um, you know, it, it seemed to it was a decision that seemed to make sense at the time. But as it got closer, I was getting slightly nervous about it. You know, but. You know, it, it was a real joy. It was a real joy to relearn those songs mm. and to play them to people and to see, you know, just see, just to see how it had affected people. It just took me back. It just took me back to 2003, four, when we were writing the record. And yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was kind of, yeah, it was, it was, it was surprisingly emotional for me, mm. that whole experience. It is interesting because you said that, you know, you, you're not someone that, 
likes to necessarily look back. And that's something I've heard you say before. Was it a strange experience, you know, reliving those songs almost as if you were transported back, I guess, to 2004, 2005? Um, I mean, it wasn't, I, yeah, I mean, yeah, it, it, it was initially strange, I guess, kind of relearning them in, in the practice room, but actually performing them, no, it, it, it was very enjoyable. And I, I mm. feel it was probably more enjoyable now than it was at the time because at the time you know it was just you know me personally as a musician as a singer I could you know I I could I could tell that I was performing the songs better now than I did at the time because of everything I've learned and you know and you know from everyone that you know from our team that's been around us they you know they concurred that we were playing the songs better than we ever played them like the first time around so you know that felt quite nice to know that I could still that you know I still was able to perform the songs I still had my voice I could still do that um so yeah I mean I uh, yeah it was uh it it, it was a rewarding experience and I I think it kind of galvanized us it it galvanized it galvanized what we wanted this next record Mm. Alpha Games to be were there any particular songs that were more difficult than others to blow the cobwebs off. Um, the pioneers is always yeah. was always a song that was very hard to me to sing. I remember at um, you know when I you know at the start it was something I would always run out of breath kind of with because it was all it was so intense like from the get go and then there's no kind of let up and you know it was I was nervous about having you know back in the day when the album was released we only played it at Kate rarely. I was slightly nervous about having to play it every single night um, for these silent alarm shows, but I was able to do it and I was able to do it better than I did at the time. So that was a nice feeling to yeah. know that, that that was, yeah, that I still had the, I still had the fire inside me. Yeah. <laughs> Radio X. <laughs>